When's the baby due? I have some good news. What is it? Lisa is going to have a baby. That's great. I'm so happy for her. Me too. Do they want a boy or a girl? A girl. When's the baby due? In the beginning of September. I'm going to phone Lisa tonight. That's nice. Say hello for me. Bus stop. Jean, Barbara, do you work around here? Yes, I work in that building across the street. Really? What do you do? I work in a law office. I'm a secretary. Oh, that's interesting. What about you? What do you do? I work at Durer Restaurant. Oh, are you a cook? No, I'm a waitress. That's a really hard job. I don't envy you. Me neither. In the bus. Do you live alone, Jean? No, I don't. I live with my family. How about you? I'm married now. I got married last year. Really? Congratulations. Who did you marry? His name's Jeff Hunt. He lives in my building. Oh, what does he do? He's a doctor. How wonderful! I'm very happy for you. Gardening. Your garden is really lovely. Thank you. I enjoy working in the garden. Do you do everything yourself? I trim the bushes and weed the flower beds myself. Who cuts the grass? Oh, it's so big that I hire one of the boys in the neighborhood to do it for me. Well, I must say he does a good job. Yes, his work is more than satisfactory. A lazy boy. I'm very angry with my son Harry. Why? What's the problem? He's not doing well in school. That's a surprise. Harry's a smart boy. Yes, but he never studies. Did you talk to his teachers? Yes, I did. What did they say? He's a nice boy, but he's very lazy. Maybe they're right. I'm afraid so. Have you thought about getting him a tutor? Maybe that's a good idea. I really want him to excel. Let's go look in the phone book now. Then. Can I drive there? What time is it? It's three o'clock. Oh no, I'm late. Where are you going? To the dentist. Can I drive you there? Sure, that will help. Do you have a toothache? Yes, and it's very bad. I'm sorry to hear that. I've had it for weeks, and this is the first time that I could get in. My dentist is always so busy. I guess that's a good thing. It means a lot of people like him. A new dress. Who is it? It's me, dear. Don't you have your key? No, let me in. Let's her in. What's in that box? What did you get? A new dress, honey. But you have a closet full of dresses. I know, but I need a new one. What's wrong with all the other dresses? They're not this one. A picnic. Let's go for a picnic. That's a great idea. Where shall we go? Let's go to the park. How far is it? About a mile. Is it a nice place? Sure. It has picnic tables and a beautiful lake. Good. I'll make some sandwiches. I'll bring soda and cookies. The kids will love it. I'm going skiing. We've got ten inches of snow. Wow, that's terrific. What's so terrific about it? I'm going skiing. Skiing? Are you serious? Yes, it's a lot of fun. Maybe, but it's also dangerous. You need to live on the edge, and you need to make sure you don't fall off of it. Traffic rules. Sarah, you can't park here. It's a bus stop. Oh, we'll be back in a few minutes. It's okay. Oh no, it isn't. You'll get a parking ticket if you leave it here. No, I won't. It's half past five. All the traffic wardens have gone home. Sarah. Yes. Is this your car, ma'am? Housework. Whew, I'm really tired, and now I have to go home and cook. Do you make dinner every night? Yes, I usually make dinner, and my husband washes the dishes. I live alone, so I do everything. Sometimes I eat out, though. There are some good restaurants in my neighborhood. Where do you live? Near the Penn Center. Oh, that's good. There aren't any good restaurants near my house. Does your husband help you do housework much? Um, yes. He sets the table almost every night, and he makes our bed every morning. But I usually make all the meals. How about cleaning? We clean the house together every weekend. I vacuum the rooms, and he usually sweeps the floor of the kitchen, and he does yard work. Your husband helps you so much. Does he help do the laundry too? Well, he's never helped me do the laundry.